Hey everybody, I just wanted to come back on here and give you an update because I know I left you hanging and you were probably wondering what Tesla I ended up going with. Well, I decided on the three. I absolutely loved everything about the Y, but I just prefer the look of the Model 3. So today I'm gonna be taking you through the purchasing process. It is so different from going into a car dealership and you know getting a car that way because of course there's a salesman and you know sometimes you may feel the pressure sometimes you don't um, and you know it's it's just a longer process and with buying a Tesla it is such a different experience that I figured let me make a video on it and show you how it's done so basically when you get onto the Tesla website you can go through the models at the top and once you choose which model you want to go with, you're going to go ahead and click the order now button. Now, once you get to the order now page, you're going to go ahead and look at the standard range or you're going to go with long range. I decided to go with long range. Why? Because I have long distances between places that I go. I live in an area where there's not too many things super close. And of course, I like to travel back and forth to Fort Lauderdale in Miami and it's a long distance and I don't want to have to keep charging in between. So I decided to go with the long range and there is a bit of a price difference close to $10,000. So really, if you are just doing a lot of local driving and you don't feel like you would need the long range, then definitely you could save yourself some money. Now with the long range, the great thing about that is that I can charge from home, make all those trips, and then still be able to get back home without having to charge on the road. So they also do have a performance package and ironically, the performance package comes with a shorter range of miles and it does cost more, so it has more features, but I didn't really need that and I was just more interested in having the long range. The long range model comes with about 353 miles per charge, so that was perfect for me. So the next thing that you're gonna take a look at are the paint options. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but with Tesla, the standard color is white and white is included. But if you do want any of the other color options, such as black, gray, blue, or red, it's $1,000 for black, gray, and blue, and it's $2,000 for red. I decided to go with black. I didn't really want a white car. My reasoning is that I was worried that I wouldn't be washing it enough and um, it would show a lot of dirt, which ironically people do say that black shows a lot of dust. So, um, you know, you could go either way, but I just decided to go with black. I like black cars. Now, the next thing that you would be taking a look at are the wheels. And they come with either sport wheels or your standard, which is included. Um, that is a hubcap that is on top of it, but you have the ability to take the hubcap off and there are actual rims underneath the hubcaps. Now the package for the 19 inch sport wheels is $1,500, but I just decided to go standard because I prefer to have a unique look to my car. So I wanted to pick my rims after the fact. The next thing that you're going to take a look at is the interior. Now call me crazy because I know that in the video I was talking all that crap about my kids and everything, but I just absolutely fell in love with the white interior and I ended up picking the white interior. Black is standard, but if you decide to go with white interior, it's an extra thousand dollars. And yes, I did get it and I absolutely love it, but I will be getting seat covers to make sure that my seats last over time. Now, this is a big decision. They have the option for full self-driving capability, which of course is going to be the new thing of the future. And it does cost $10,000 at the moment, but if you decide to purchase it later, it is gonna cost more. So I didn't end up taking it because I, I don't know, I, I'm the type of person where I would prefer to drive myself and uh, they do also have the autopilot navigation, which is pretty close to it, but not the full self-driving capability. 
I do have the option to purchase it for the next year. And if I decide to purchase it within the next year, I will get it at the $10,000 rate. But if I go beyond that, I will have to pay more. So right now with my autopilot, I do have the ability to turn it on. It will stay in lanes and it will slow down if a car is in front of me and the car slows down. With the full self-driving capability, you're able to use the autopilot, auto lane change, auto park. You can summon your car. So if you have a lot of groceries or it's raining at Walmart and you want to just have your car come to the front and look super cool, <laughs> then maybe you want to get the full self-driving capability. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Once you pick all of those options, the next step is to actually order your Model 3. It gives you an estimated delivery time, but that can vary depending on what's going on at the factories and how much of a demand is going on at the moment. And of course, with gas prices fluctuating so much lately, Tesla is in very high demand. I will tell you that when you pay your $100, it's very important to do it as soon as you possibly can because I waited a little bit and literally in the middle of ordering my Tesla, the price went up by $500. Just my luck. Now, once you are ready to order, they're gonna give you a review of all your options. They're gonna give you a total purchase price and um, they give you an estimated savings. That's not actually what the price is, but you could imagine that would be the price based off of the savings of not having to get oil changes, tune-ups, and of course gas. So once you pay the $100, you're pretty much in line to have your Tesla made. Now, if you decide that by the time they call you that you don't want your Tesla, then you forfeit your 100 bucks but I would say it's worth it because it's not a big down payment. Prior to this, Tesla actually used to make you put down $15 to $2,500 and you were able to get your money back if you decided not to go for it. But I think that the $100 option is very reasonable that anyone can pretty much put themselves online to get a Tesla and if they decide that they don't want to, it's not a major investment. Now, once you purchase your Tesla, then pretty much they're going to start asking you for all the information that they need. Whether you're going to be financing, or if you have a trade-in, or if you decide that you're gonna be paying with cash. Now, I had my BMW that I was deciding to trade in, and they gave me an estimated amount on how much they were gonna give me for my BMW. But by the time they assessed my car, they ended up only wanting to give me half of what my car was worth, and I decided not to use my BMW as a trade-in and that I would sell it privately after the fact. So they're gonna ask you how much money you're gonna be putting down and then that way they'll give you an estimate of what your payments will be. Once you know that, they are going to have various creditors run your credit, and once you're approved, then you will go on to the next step. Once you have all the paperwork sorted out on who you will be financing with, they will be asking you for proof of insurance. Now, certain states require that your VIN number is on your actual insurance card. And for Florida, you do have to have your VIN number on the insurance card. So I had to wait closer to the end of the purchasing process once the car was made and I was able to get the VIN number in order to get my insurance. But it's not, pre it's not difficult at all because most insurance companies can give you insurance within a day of your purchase. If you happen to have a trade-in, you will have the option to switch your tag. If you don't have a trade-in, they are gonna go ahead and include the cost of getting a new tag for your car. Now, once you get through all that paperwork, in the meantime, they will be sending you videos on the app. You're gonna to have to download the app. The app is what actually opens up your car and unlocks it once you go to retrieve your car. The app is also a way for you to pay for your charging at the charging stations. So pretty much the Tesla app is very important. And whenever you decide to recommend your friends to get a Tesla, you have a referral code that is in the app that you can send your friends and you will get a thousand miles free and so will they. 
So in saying that, I'm gonna be leaving my referral code in the description box below the video. If this video helped you out, please use my referral code if you decide to get a Tesla because guess what? I'll get a thousand miles and so will you. Now back to the videos. They're gonna send you a bunch of videos that pretty much show you how to drive this car, how to use the car, because let me tell you, when you go to pick up the car, they just tell you to unlock it and they're like, there you go, have a nice day. So if you don't watch these videos, you are not going to know what to do. So I highly recommend downloading the app right away and watching the videos a couple times. Now you may think, well, you know, it's a car. How hard can it be? Well, the fact that it's pretty much like a huge iPad, everything is inside of this iPad. You don't have a dashboard, so you're gonna be wondering, well, how do I park? How do I put the car in drive? How do I turn on the windshield wipers? How do I move the mirrors? How do I integrate my phone into my car? So yes, trust me when I say you need to watch the videos. And another thing is that you really pretty much can drive with the gas pedal only. So you need to get used to the idea of regenerative brakes. And I think that the tutorials definitely help you understand everything you need to know about the car before you just pick it up and wonder, okay, why is the car pulling back so hard when I let off the gas? So all in all, watch the videos. I'm here, here to pick up my Tesla. You push this in and then pull it. Oh. I, 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 wait, wait. I smells brand new. new. Oh, it smells like candy in there. It smells like. It smells great. It smells new. It smells like candy. For real. Like very new. You guys, I got a Tesla. Oh. 